Uh, President, my question is to the Minister for Local Government. Minister, in recent days we've heard one serious example of a municipal uh, council imposing harsh new taxes on struggling small businesses as they seek to recover from the COVID-19 lockdowns and the consequent destruction of their business. In this circumstance, the Council has received correspondence from the Government, but more broadly I ask, what steps will the Government take to ensure that local government do not impose new taxes, charges or fees on struggling small businesses as they seek to recover? Minister Lee. Um, just on a point of order, on, and I'm happy to be corrected because I, I am unsure. Uh, Mr Davis uh, actually second read a bill, a private member's bill, um, concerning this particular actual, very much this particular topic, I believe. So I'm on anticipation, should there be, no, well, that's why I said I'm unsure, I'm not being, I'm happy to be wrong, I just want to check. Thank you, Mr. Lin, for that. Uh, it's not listed today, it's a bill, and he didn't ask your opinion about the bill, so it's incorrect, all right? Oh, no. No, I just, I just was, um, I just was wondering if he was, it, this is a, this is a promotion for his bill. This is like um, an ad for his bill, but, <laughs> but, but anyway, um, look, I, and I think Mr. Davis didn't need to skirt around um, his concerns where he was talking about potential taxes to, from the a local government that he said is an example. It's the city of Yarra around there, uh, potential fees around the use of spaces for outdoor dining. Um, and, and, and I don't disagree with him, the disappointment around that, um, particularly when um, the government uh, supplied, I think, last spring, summer, I think it was half a million dollars towards them to be able to facil facilitate that. And particularly when um, we understand as a government that outdoor dining is a really important thing for um, us coming out of COVID, particularly those um, enterprises, those um, particularly retail enterprises and, and actually Myself and Minister Pulford have had many conversations around how we might be able to support further. Um, so um, that is very disappointing. But as far as um, the state government, uh, whether we or not, um, you know, uh, come across the autonomy that local government have, um, I think I've said a number of times here that they they're actually have the autonomy um, and their own their, their own level of government and have the, each local council has their right to decide um, their budget and their right to decide other measures and how they might spend it. Um, so I, I'm a bit surprised, Mr. Davis. I, I've missed, heard Mr. Davis a number of times in here when it comes, particularly when it comes to infrastructure, about government's writing roughshod over local communities and councils. I think I've heard him ad nauseum around planning and, and uh, infrastructure about how local government should be respected and their autonomy should be respected. And, um, and I kind of find it a bit weird that um, Mr Davis is coming down this particular track. And, I, and, 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 and I've, actually, <laughs> I've actually just said that I'm disappointed that the city of Yarra has taken this particular um, avenue. I'm not, I don't like to actually be... I'm actually someone that likes to be more positive about local government. I don't like to be negative at all. Um, this one, one instance where I personally don't disagree with them, but whether a, whether a, whether a government... You don't agree with them. Uh, well, I don't agree with them, sorry. I don't agree with them. Um, <laughs> thanks for that. Thanks for that. <laughs> um, I don't agree with them on this particular instance. But there's a lot of time, you know, like they've done some great work, um, all councils across the state during this really hard time, and, and I, I, I like to prefer to um, talk up the good work they do. Mr Davis on a supplementary. I, I've listened closely, President, to what the Minister has said. Um, and indeed, I agree that generally local governments should have their own say and run their own democratic approach. However, there is a genuine risk now, Minister, that very, very many vulnerable small businesses will face additional taxes and charges that will actually hurt their recovery. And I therefore ask, will the government act to clamp 
increased taxes and charges to protect small businesses as they recover over the next few years? I think that um, in, in line with my previous answer about local governments are actually doing a lot of things, a clear majority of local governments has frozen their business fees. A, a clear majority, and I, I think we, I think we're talking about one concern, one example where Mr. Davis says that the state government should should ride roughshod over um, over local government. When I've he, I've heard him preach, heard him preach so many times that that shouldn't be the case. In this one particular instance, and other instances that occur, um, as I said, I'm happy to have conversations with um, any council, and I'm happy to look at ways that we, we as a state government, as I said, myself and Ms. Minister Pulford, we're working towards, can we, can we assist more? Um, this spring we'll have more to say about that, how we will be able to help, and how I may be able to speak to the City of Yarra um, going into the future on this particular issue. Thank you, Minister. Dr Ratnam. 